The second wave of volunteers are now in their late 20s and 30s. They are moving through life much more easily. They are generally focused on helping others, creating no karma and normally going unnoticed. They've been described as being antennas, beacons, generators, or channels of energy. They have come in with a unique energy that greatly affects others. They don't have to do anything. They just have to exist. I've been told that just by walking through a crowded mall or grocery store, their energy affects everyone they come in contact with. It is that strong, and of course, they don't even realize this consciously. The paradox is, although they are supposed to be affecting people by their energy, they really don't feel comfortable being around people at all. So many of them often just prefer to stay home. They avoid mixing with others. To this degree, they are defeating their purpose. Many of the first and second waves do not have children. They unconsciously realize that children create a karmic link to this lifetime and they don't want to have anything that ties them to this place. They just want to do their job, be done and get out of here. Many of them do not marry unless they are lucky enough to find another of their own kind. Twin flame, if you will. This was taken directly from the book, The New Earth and the Three Waves of Volunteers by Dolores Cannon. I identify so heavily with the second wave volunteer characteristics. I've adjusted the age if you notice. This was written a while ago, so it does change. Please leave a comment if you do identify. I'm working on a quiz so that you can identify which of the waves you probably are and whether or not you are a wave, one of these waves anyways. Either way, I know you're a light worker and you're here to do great things. I love you. Love and light.